you, you know coming coming in maybe how banged up your guys some of them were how much they were what were you expecting no we expected it to be um you know real physical and we thought you know we were uh i think you know coming in we thought you know key matchups were really up front you know we feel real confident um in our in our uh in our defense you know but i think our front four you know versus their own line you know and i think our uh Offensive line, obviously against their defensive line. You know, as far as pass pro, you know, and as traveling staff to running game, you know, through our first two games, you know, those were areas of concern for us. You know, I believe this. Over the course of the season, our guys are going to develop. You know, we're going to get a lot better. Um, but we're not there yet. You know, it's pretty simple. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, we had some kids that didn't play, you know, because of injuries, but I mean, that's just, that happens. What was was the biggest problem offensively? And, and you make me make play has the best defensive front they've had, maybe. Ever. Yeah, I mean, is I that, think that, that you know, you know Diaz always? and Seward, I mean, you know, you might as well just put them on your All American team right now. <laughs> <laughs> was that the biggest disruptor? The was that the biggest problem offensively? Was just sure. I think that you know we definitely had some things, and they did a good job with uh, with uh, you know working you know uh, five man blitzes and uh, you know being able to play zone underneath you know and, and uh, bringing extra pressure, you know, and, and I think, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be challenged with the four-man front, you know. So, uh, you know, looking at that, you know, when I kind of look at this game, I just talked to the guys, and I just said, guys, you know, it's a long season, you know. We're two and one, you know, we can be, we can be nine and one, you know. Uh, 2008, we lost to Del Val the first game of the season, and then we were able to run the table. You know, I believe this, you know, in 2005, we got beat 47 nothing you know, up in Brockport and then came back and the team was able to regroup. So uh, we've been down this road before, we will regroup and I think we have a lot of talent on this team. You know, I think we got a quarterback that's gonna be a, a special player when it's all said and done and we just gotta work, you know, to get there. So we have a lot of uh, hard work ahead of us, you know, to prepare for Birmingham Southern. You know, but I really believe in this team and I believe in our kids. You know, I think that you know, defensively, we had some breakdowns in the first half but we played hard. You know, I think the kids played hard, you know, uh, you know throughout the game. Um, you know, you come out on the field, there's almost 10,000 people and a lot more of them are wearing purple than blue. What? We had uh, we had 18 people wearing blue. <laughs> how, how tough is it to play in that environment? What was it like in, in that environment? Well, i tell you this. When, when we're a team, too, it's probably a good question to ask me because over the last 20-some uh, years, we've been everywhere. You know, uh, we've been to 20 different states. You know, we played in one double-A stadiums. We played in, uh, you know, Whitewater Stadium, Butler Stadium, Davidson Stadium, Charleston Southern Stadium. Um, we've been on both coasts, you know, and obviously this facility, you know, is a superior facility, I think, for a lot of small uh, one double-A to Division II scholarship programs. You know, I think we'd have a tough time competing with what, what you have here. This is pretty impressive. Um, last year, I remember talking to you after the game, and I said, well, I have a feeling we'll probably see you down the road again. Is that your gut feeling this year? You use two teams, you're going to face off again? Somewhere it's our goal. Road? You know, I mean, it's hard to, you know, sit here and say, gee, you know, you got to beat 35-7. Um, and, you know, you had 10 sacks or whatever. Uh, but that's our goal. You know, and I feel real confident saying that. You know, I look at, you know, the other teams in the South region, and we're going to see how we match up against them. We're very fortunate that we get a chance to play uh, Birmingham Southern and Huntington and, go out against Rowan and get a good feel for how we are, you know, regionally against these other teams. And I think that, you know, we're going to, our kids will be ready to play. What do you hope Callahan takes from a game like this where obviously it didn't come nearly as easy as it did last week or the week before? I think, you know, this is a, you know, this is a great situation for him to be able to play in a, a playoff type atmosphere uh, in front of, you know, 10,000 people and, uh, and, and you know, walk away, even though we played hardly on offense, you know, with, uh, you know, maybe some confidence in himself that, you know, it, you know, I think he did a pretty solid job. If we go back and look at the film, um, you know, I think he protected the, the ball a lot better than he did last week. You know, it's something that we worked on. And, um, yeah, I think as we look at it, you know, we were saying, you know, hey, we want to get more into, you know, a three-step rhythm, you know, and we had a couple of series where we did that, but, you know, nothing that would ever put anything together, you know, and then, 
you know, we had uh, Gerlitz open on one, he kind of threw it behind him, and then he came back and hit Monahan on the one. And tell us about the status of Caduceus. What kind you know, of you know? I'll be there? honest with you. You know, he played a little bit, right? And uh, I want him for the season. You know, he has a high ankle sprain. You know, it's been two weeks. I mean, we really feel like after three weeks, he, you know, he can get back to, you know, you know, close to 100 percent. And uh, he's not 100 percent right now. Mm -hmm. And I talked to the, you know, I talked to the trainer, and Chip and I talked, and hey, let's give it a whirl. You know, but I can obviously tell during pregame yeah. that he was really hurting. And uh, the last thing we want to do is lose him for five weeks. You know, we got a lot of football to play. And, you know, when he's healthy, you know, he's as good as there is out there. So we got to get him healthy. Oh, I got it. Well, right. this is something, yes, I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Facility wise. I want to make, I, no one, you know, I told Pete when I saw him, I said, uh, first I asked him if I could give him my resume. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked him to introduce me to this guy, you know, I'm a big baseball, I'm a bigger baseball fan than him. <laughs> I can tell him about uh, yeah. Joe Morgan back for the Houston Cole 45s or something. Yeah, I got some yeah. stories here. Yeah. You got to get your president to come down here the next time you guys <laughs> Yeah. Oh, believe me, I practiced yesterday. I did a 360 with my cell phone and I sent it right to him. Yeah, <laughs>